Welcome back to Vibes. Have you seen Doja Cat lately? It seems as every time she makes official public appearance, it's becoming more and more bizarre and far from what Doja Cat used to originally present herself. Doja used to always dress up in an entertaining way and be amusing character to follow. However recently she has become this dark and miserable version of herself and almost monstrous in her appearance. Her transformation has been almost as immediate switch from this to this, and many speculations based on similar behavioral pattern indicates that she seems lost. There is distance from her fans and often expressing anger towards public criticism, where original Doja was fun to interact with and would even turn any negative comment into a joke. The change in Doja behavior and appearance happened just after the Grammy Awards earlier this year. But this is a... <laughs> it's a big deal. <laughs> Have you heard the curse of the Grammy theory? Apparently winning the Grammy Award for Best Artist is considered a curse, as many artists who won this award were unable to repeat their success and became gradually irrelevant. Obviously is just an observation and theory. In Doja's case, after receiving Grammy, she has changed almost overnight, and the old character she has been till that day has been replaced with completely someone else. Grammy Awards happened in April 2022, and month later Doja has cancelled her entire summer tour due to the tonsils surgery. I am sure it was an emergency procedure and could be rearranged, yet for some reasons has stopped Doja from all performances during the entire summer. I may be wrong, but I don't think she has even performed since. That time away from he public has been when the damaging transformation has began. Subsequently she has thrown a hint on possible retirement and stepping out of the music. Singer The Weeknd has been covering Doja's pre-arranged summer performances she has never turned up to. She has become more distanced from her singing career. In June Doja has been featured in Elle magazine, and her appearance has already changed. It's a summer edition and yet she looks like it's a Halloween season. She looks gloomy and dull with some bizarre choice of fashion for a Doja at least and far from her style. In August Doja premiered her shaved head and eyebrows, and it's been done in form of ceremonial live show. This appearance remains till this day. Are you okay, sis? I like, don't like having hair. I never liked having hair. Some call it a ritual humiliation, an Illuminati ritual with visible public appearance being senseless, being put into situation to feel ashamed and embarrassed. Often the ritual participant would dress and use makeup reflecting to occultist theme, use of occult symbolism, References to costumes and masks, transformation or mutilation, sexual and bizarre performances and appearance. According to occult and subculture literature and reference to satanic holidays time that initiated Doja's transformation falls on occult holiday season called a preparation for sacrifice. Preparation for sacrifice according to occult text is during the end of April. Do you see the connection? Nonetheless Doja appearance at Balenciaga show with her beaten face makeup. What is the point of this? When I watched Doja's Balenciaga video prior to the show, her prep intro, in some hotel room, it looks to me as everything is being set ready for Doja. She is being constantly told what will be done in terms of what is she going to wear. Makeup is already being arranged, and obviously it is theatrical makeup. It just baffles me. Is she promoting an abuse, or is she the abused one the humiliated one? Because both of those possibilities I find really disturbing. And right after, Doja birthday party was end of October with the one and only theme of Illuminati and eyes wide shut. The masks, the symbolism, the costumes. Doja dressed as the subject of the ritual sacrifice in the eyes wide shut movie with the same costume and mask. It is not a prank, like someone picked the theme for joke and let's make fun out of people following these celebrities. This birthday party alone puts a huge stamp on their agenda. It happens around All Hallow Eve, the sacrifice season and it's a 27th birthday. See references to the 27 Club, a list of popular celebrities, mostly musicians, who died age 27. This birthday itself confirms that Doja is under some occultist agreement. She is no longer free to express herself in her own old fun way. She needs to push the influence of Illuminati becoming a style. She is a sacrifice. She has a role to make satanic symbolism to be considered cool, being fun by being rebellious, by shaving head and eyebrows and then telling people how liberating and amazing she feels after. I've never felt so fucking happy. No, she is not happy, she is trapped. She's being told exactly what to do. Remember these singers are not followed by people our age. They have a school age fans, children, who most of them are not even considered adults yet. 
chances are most of those kids don't understand what we discuss here. They would if they had that education from the beginning, as I can relate to my own children. But most of the kids out there are programmed very early in whatever is pop culture pushing on them. It's considered cool and fashionable. Except Doja, the celebrities coming into my mind doing exactly the same are Madonna and Lady Gaga. But they are too old now to influence kids. But Doja is young and is very relatable person. Most of her songs are TikTok themes. As a child you would need to be hiding under some stone and buried cave not to know any of those songs. So her transformation will naturally influence and change the thinking of many young people. Who will also want to be so free and liberated. Who will see the dark satanic style is worthy of following a new trend entering your children lives. Right now it makes me wonder how much worse can she really get before it has serious effect on herself. After everyone picked on the Illuminati birthday agenda, Doja has made a TikTok appearance, speaking to fans about her day, throwing in between joking elements of Illuminati reference. Illuminati, Illuminati, Illuminati. Luckily most of the people already had that decoded and didn't take the joke very lightly, but rather as her continuous confirmation on what's happening. Now Doja had very interesting shoot for magazine Dazed. Have a look. The same magazine has summarized all conspiracies, with most ridiculous explanation for them I have ever seen in my life. How unaware are Dazed readers? Dazed must have zero respect for their audience. They must be under impression they can talk complete crap and get away with it. At least we know they talk about these so-called conspiracies, which in fact are factual events because there is nothing else to talk about in terms of people like Doja. What do we have on Doja interesting to say? She doesn't provide any other entertainment or content even for mainstream to feature her on any ambitious topic. So we speak on what we see. The fact how visible it is that she has sold her soul and what we have left is her body being subject of this distasteful humiliation process. Doja knows that everyone else know, and she always had this unique way of connecting with her people. Now even her fans seem to be lost for words. All I wish for her is to find her way back before she joins the 27 Club and is remembered as this person who lost her way, rather than fought her way back. Let me know what you think of this new Doja image and make sure to join us again on the next episode. So don't forget to subscribe. Take care.